Hello, hello. Checking in with chapters 9 to 19 of uh, the, the Labyrinth of Drakes by uh, Mary Brennan. Um, yes, wow. Well, I've done quite a bit. <laughs> kind of mainlined quite a bit of the story. We're, we're actually coming in on kind of the final bit just as I'm I'm doing this, but uh, let me see if I can quickly hit a couple of high points um, in the story. So uh, they go into the desert to look for for um, for for the, for the dragons. They do find uh, them. They kind of observe stuff. Uh, they get kidnapped. They get kidnapped, uh, and it seems like oh, we're getting. This is where we get into definitely the geopolitics of the thing. Of uh, we got kidnapped by some people who seem to be very curiously well funded, um, and uh, you know they've got all. What, where are they getting all this money? Where are they getting all these guns from? It's like ah, uh, who's supplying them? And indeed, it seems like it is probably one of the competing countries. That has 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 bankrolled this little this little job that they're doing. Um, l luckily, before they can get kind of handed on to whatever interested party there is, uh, they get rescued by Sulheim and uh, his and his men. Uh, make it back. Um, she starts feeling kind of ill um, when she's back, and she ends up going to a doctor who is diagnosed her with you're actually getting poisoned and indeed um so he uh, is already on the case and he is as she is as well track down guys and yes it's some foreign actors uh with a with a good packet of arsenic on them and uh, indeed the the guy who's preparing the dishes uh having a lot of unexplained money so there is that um they get the um there suddenly the government goes oh we're done we've decided to shut down uh and it takes them about five minutes to go oh the reason why they shut down isn't because of failure or anything else it's because there's been another development i think i mentioned earlier that they were trying to make a synthetic version of dragon bone and that is obviously what's happened that suddenly they did they're no longer interested in raising dragons because of that now um, Isabella and Tom are both very interested in dragons and studying them, and they quickly go, oh, well, we really still want to do this. Um, so, what, how, you know, but we figured out really quickly what they've done. If they send us home right away, the people that are watching us, the foreign governments who are watching us, will also figure this out. So they kind of kick that back up the line without saying too much. And yes, you get to stay on. However, suddenly they don't want to spend as much money on it because it's a diversionary tactic versus, oh, we're trying desperately to figure out how to breed dragons because we need to do it. Um, and what they go is like, oh, what else can we do? Because so they think, you know what, we could set up set up an actual kind of foundation here. We know lots of other dragon experts, lots of other societies, so that we can actually set something up here more permanent to study dragons, because this is going to take generations to figure out, you know, how dragons breed, all this sort of stuff, and things like that. So we get that going. And one of the things that we really want to do is go study dragons more, go study like how they're how the, the eggs are hatched and all that stuff. And it's like, uh, they want to go to the Labyrinth of Drakes, which is this major um, nesting place of dragons. Um, and But Isabel's like, I want Salim to come with me. And pretty soon it's like, I've, she's figured out the way. I want to marry you. And she indeed, and he's like, are you proposing to me? <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, I guess we could do a, a, a kind of like a limited marriage thing. And it's like, um, yes, we could, but no, no, I, I want you to be my, my husband for life and things like that. And so they get married, much to Salim's family's displeasure. He hasn't been disavowed by his, his, uh, his older brother 
but um, it's like it's uh, he's not also not on the good good side of things. But they so they head off head off into the desert. Um, unfortunately, the first stash of, of of eggs that they they knew about seems like predators have gotten into them, been eaten, cracked open. So they decide we need to go to the labyrinth of drakes. Um, they survive through a stand, sandstorm in this, and and Salim makes the joke of like, oh well, we've done we've done, you know, giant like you know wind storms, and now we've done not wind storms, water storms some sort i can't remember the hell probably a ty- ty- tempest or typhoon we've done a sandstorm now what we need to do is a snowstorm and we'll, we'll have a full set and it's like uh don't tempt fate so they are going to go into the labyrinth of drakes we've now gotten to that we've gotten to the title of the of the book of of of, of going into the labyrinth of drakes and we're like you know three or four chapters to the end so we shall see will this end in a in a cliffhanger um she's married the guy hopefully they won't kill him off before the end of this book or something like that um because you know it would be nice for her to have that kind of a kind of a working relationship with an e- someone who's like basically her equal someone who is she she respects that way but also has a romantic relationship with and he, we already know from the last book that he really gets on well with the sun because they kind of have the shared love of, of uh, the sea together. So that is, that is g- cool stuff. So yeah, it's it's fun kind of daring do, but in like you know scientific thing and like oh, this whole puzzle over, over um, you know dragons and how they how they breed and how to raise them. Uh, also the whole thing of like, he hasn't quite gotten to it yet, but he's getting, he's getting further along in kind of decoding, uh, the, uh, Dragonian, Dragonian language, what they call the Dragonian language, uh, and some interesting inscription thing. So we'll have to see how that goes and what it actually means. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So fun stuff. That is the Labyrinth of Dragons. Uh, chapters nine to nineteen, and I'll have a little bit more. And then uh, the reader of this, uh, Kate Redding, will then follow me along uh, for uh, Brandon Sanderson's uh, much longer and what sounds like a very baggy, uh, baggy, um, baggy episode of uh, the Stormlight Archives with Rhythm of War, which. God, is he going down the Robert Jordan path of everything's going to now be in giant holding patterns? We'll see. We'll see. I will listen to the, 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 the gigantic book itself, probably after looking at some Wikipedia articles to try and remind me what the hell's happened in the last ones. Stuff. Stuff happened in the last three gigantic clunkers of books. I'm pretty sure that's what's happened. Kaladin and, and the rest. All right. I will leave it there for the moment. More videos later.